hey you guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here welcome so what i'm currently about to do on my lovely client is i'm about to apply a relaxer now it has been quite some time since she had her last relaxer i want to say seven months or more maybe even stretch into nine months uh, but it has been quite some time. She does put a, a long distance in between her relaxers. And I always use the firm line. And I will put the relaxer line that I use up here for you guys to see. So before I get all into that jazz, let's go ahead and roll the intro. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so I want to just stop right here and just highlight the relaxer that I use at the salon. I have been using the Affirm relaxer line for a very long time now. I can't even remember what relaxer I was using before then because once I used the Affirm, I just like instantly fell in love. The benefits of the relaxer to me was so great when I started using it. The Affirm relaxer, it has like a silky smooth finish. It's very soft and moisturizing to the hair. It leaves the hair looking healthy, shiny, and radiant. So I was like, yes, it's uh, hands down number one. And of course, it does straighten the hair, but it doesn't take away the actual integrity in the life of the hair so most of the time you will see that the hair will still have a, a wave and also you don't have to leave the firm relaxer on the head for a long for a extended amount of time to get the great benefits so that's what i love so much because it's like in, on and off the hair like with under i want to say under 20 minutes or even less than that and i get the great benefits of uh the relaxer for my clients and then of course like you guys know most of my clients that come to me their hair is um longer is usually longer so um I always let them know to do their retouch within the next 90 days. I don't, I do not suggest to do a retouch month to month because to me it's not enough new growth. all right so since it has been some time since my client had her relaxer done i will be traveling on the relaxer down the shaft of the hair and this is so the relaxer can have an even look and so her hair can uh remove the line of demarcation so i do have plenty of videos of me explaining how i apply my relaxers and of course i will put that in the the description down below and also as a tag in today's video but of course as you guys always know i always apply the relaxer away away from the uh skin of the excuse me away from the scalp and then of course i always make sure that around the hairline is the last place i apply the relaxer that is the most sensitive part and it does take very quick uh with the relaxer applying it on the hair you don't have to leave a relaxer on the hair for a very long time to get the best results you don't want to leave it on for a very long time this is a chemical it does break down the bonds of the hair and the longer you leave it there the more damage you will create 
So what you want to do is shift the texture of the hair. You do not want to damage it. So be aware, do not leave a relaxer on for a very long time. so right here i'm going to slow it down just a little because this is what i mean when i said that i am applying a relaxer down the shaft of her hair so this is what i do when i have my clients that go like a very long period of time from their relaxers which is not a problem some people get relaxers once a year some people get them uh twice a year and some people get them like every three six nine or twelve months like it's up to you but i do not suggest anything before three months but anyway so what i do is that i just follow the relaxer down the shaft of the hair so everything could be even it won't be damaging to the hair because you don't leave it on for a long time all right you guys so this is me coming back from after shampooing out the relaxer i do use the firm neutralizing shampoo and then also i pair that with the olaplex line i love the olaplex line i think it's a great partner to utilize when you are relaxing the hair because it has so many great benefits of healing the hair from any chemical service so i use it with my relaxers and i also use it when i'm doing my uh, color as well now moving forward i will be uh showing you guys more of the products that i use at the salon i did get in the comments down below that you guys would like for me to show you the products as i use them in the video and I'm so sorry that I haven't been doing that, but moving forward, I will keep that in mind and I will be doing that. But in this video, I didn't. So all products and everything that I use at the salon can be uh, seen in the description and also the links will be down there in the description as well for you guys to purchase them. So right now I'm just uh, preparing her here to move forward with the service. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn, Zeus, you too cold, bruh. What you doing? So I know you guys can't feel her hair, but honestly, at this point with just blowing out her hair, her hair felt so good. It felt so silky, so healthy. Like it was minimum amount of hair I had to cut when it comes to her ends. I didn't have to cut much at all, but I have noticed that uh, I have been getting a more of an amount of people coming in to go back to relaxers. I just wanted to ask you guys, do you think that more people are going back to relaxing their hair or is this just something I'm just noticing in my area in Houston or is this something that's going on across the globe? Are more people going back to relaxers? I just want to know just the curious thought leave the answer down below but i have been seeing the numbers of people coming back to get their hair relaxed has been increasing So we're coming to the end of today's video. So before I leave, I want to ask you guys some questions. So my first question is, if you are relaxed, how often do you get a relaxer? Do you get a relaxer every three months? Do you get a relaxer every six months? Do you get a relaxer just once a year? How often do you relax your hair? And when you do relax your hair, how do your hair feel? Do your hair feel good? Do your hair look good? Uh, are you also able to retain length like my client? Are you able to keep your hair healthy and also retain length? And if you're not relaxed, are you, are you thinking about going back to a relaxer? And is this becoming more popular? Oh, right there, that was me. I used the Olaplex oil number seven on her hair right now. But do you think relaxers are coming back in? Is it becoming more popular again? Do you think more people are going back to relaxers? So answer those questions for me down in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. As always, I appreciate it. And remember to hit the like button so this video can circulate and go around so we can continue to build our family over here and subscribe if this is your first time and you love my videos then make sure you subscribe and go check out more videos and i'll talk to you guys next time goodbye uh, yeah. oh, wow.